When you move into a new place, it takes some time for it to really feel like home, especially if people have lived in it before you. To make it your own, you'd probably want to put your own design touches on the place or even plan a full-blown remodel, something that signifies a fresh start. Well, that's what these people did, but their little update somehow made it feel a lot less homey. Shortly after moving in, they uncovered some incredibly creepy things. The stories I'm about to tell you will make you ready for anything next time you look behind your walls or even your floors. Here are the 10 freakiest things people found in their homes. A creepy doll with a life-threatening message. In 2021, homeowner Jonathan Lewis moved into his new home in Walton, Liverpool. He decided to examine a hole underneath the stairs that had been boarded up, and he was shocked to find a creepy rag doll with an even creepier note on it. The doll was in a pinstripe dress and bonnet, and the note read, Dear new homeowner, thank you for freeing me. My name is Emily. My original owners lived in this house in 1961. I didn't like them, so they had to go. All they did was sing and be merry. It was sickening. Stabbing them was my choice of death for them, so I hope you have knives. He told reporters that he actually finds the prank pretty funny, but says that his friends have urged him to sell the place and move out as quickly as possible. A live missile. In 2011, 70-year-old William Whitman was remodeling his Wisconsin home. While tearing out some insulation in his bathroom, he discovered a 20-inch long missile. For some reason, without knowing if it was live or not, he picked it up and brought it outside before calling the police. When the bomb squad arrived, they found that it was live and they safely detonated it at the Department of Public Works. Apparently, the entire town could hear the blast. According to Whitman, the previous owner's son served in the Korean War and they would bring their father's keepsakes from overseas. I wouldn't really consider a live missile a keepsake, but yeah. Even more strange is that the previous owner put it in his wall and somehow totally forgot about it. Snake water. In 2009, Ben and Amber Sessions bought a home in Idaho and the previous owner said that they had a small snake problem. But after sleepless nights listening to noises in the walls, Ben removed a panel of siding and dozens of snakes came bursting out. They heard slithering in every wall in the house. He inspected their crawl space and found thousands of snakes gathered in the hibernaculum, an area where snakes hibernate in large numbers. By far the worst of the ordeal was realizing that the strange onion-like taste of their tap water was actually the musk that the snakes release when they're frightened. Anyone consuming this could contract salmonella or tapeworms, and the Sessions and their two children had been drinking and bathing in it for months. And Amber was pregnant at the time. One day, Amber saw a local news story about another family that had fled their snake-infested home. She was relieved that they weren't alone, but then soon realized that it was the previous owners talking about their home. Hidden Cameras in 2014, a 26-year-old Manhattan woman was hired to clean up apartments in the Upper West Side Brownstone, and her compensation was a free room in the building. She then made the shocking discovery that her landlords had placed hidden cameras in her bedroom and bathroom and had been watching her for months. According to the criminal complaint, she found a tiny camera inside a digital clock in her bathroom, which led to a police investigation that uncovered more than 70 hours of video. The footage included several months of her in the shower using the bathroom and even being intimate with a partner. She sued the landlord, Eli Kadosh, who also faced criminal charges for unlawful surveillance. Civil rights attorney Norman Siegel said that the case should cause the city of New York to implement stronger privacy laws. An unwanted roommate. A 73-year-old Washington State resident named Velma Kellen called a repairman about a broken heater, but found out that she had a much bigger problem. When the repairman returned, he told her that a man was living in her crawl space. Her heat wasn't working because the man had cut her furnace's air ducts to redirect the heat into his little crawl space apartment. That's when she realized that she had been seeing signs recently. Her gate was often mysteriously unlatched and there was a suspicious smell that often wafted through her home. She told reporters, I can't say that it was the devil's leaf because I don't know what the devil's leaf smells like, but it was something worse than cigarettes. Police Chief Todd Stansel said that this was the first case in their small town, but said that it was now pretty concerning for people who have crawl spaces. A fallout shelter. 
In January of 2024, TikToker It's Me Carly made a video of some creepy hidden rooms in her grandmother's house. Her grandma isn't good with stairs, so she never goes down there, but Carly and her brother noticed a pipe that went to nowhere and got suspicious. The pipe was a lever that, once pushed, opens a secret door to a closet for canned goods and a large weapon rack. She kept searching and found that the electrical panel was actually a door to the end of days type of fallout shelter. Equipped with six wooden beds, rusted over candle cans, a water well pump, and incredibly old creepy gas masks. She expects this is all from the 1950s and 60s since it was the beginning of the Cold War and the first time the US started preparing for nuclear war with the Soviet Union. A death mask. An unnamed English woman who lives in a converted Victoria home was shocked to stumble upon a very creepy find. She and her husband were pulling up floorboards for her bedroom remodel when she pulled out an old death mask. A death mask is a cast of a person's face who has passed away. They make a mold of the person's face by applying layers of plaster or wax, trying to preserve the person's face as a memento for the family. Sometimes they even try to make it appear as if the person is alive. This was very common before the invention of the photograph. The homeowner thinks that the mask belongs to a middle-aged woman with no eyebrows, but says that other than some gravel and soil, there were no other clues. Since she thinks that it's too creepy to keep in the house, she hopes to sell it to a small shop of oddities and obscurities. Old Gravestones Rosalind Wright of Charlotte, North Carolina was attempting to build a deck in her backyard when she was horrified to unearth 13 gravestones. Her backyard did stretch onto an old cemetery, but she thought that her property was far enough away from the graves. About living next to an old cemetery, she said before we were okay with it, but now it's just too close for comfort. Even more shocking was that the stones looked identical to the ones in the cemetery. Stuart Gray with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Historic Landmarks Commission examined the land and confirmed that they were similar. Incredibly worried that she sits on a large collection of graves, she was told that she'd need an archaeologist to dig up her yard to find out if this is just a collection of gravestones or if anything else is down there. A Medieval Well Almost 25 years after he moved into his home, Englishman Colin Steer was replacing his floor and noticed that the floor dipped into the living room. He took up the carpet and discovered a 17-foot deep medieval well beneath his floor. Site plans date well back to the 1500s. He began clearing out centuries worth of muck around it and found some treasures along the way. He and his friend found an old ring, a coin that dated to 1725, and an actual medieval sword. He said it looks like an old peasant's fighting weapon because it appears to be made up of bits of metal all knocked together. Four feet of clear water sits at the bottom of the well, and Mr. Steer actually drank some. He said that it tasted fine, and if lab tests deem it free from bacteria, he might bottle and sell it. Hundreds of dead chickens. During renovations of the dream home of the Bretzius family in Auburn, PA, it quickly devolved into a nightmare when they discovered that their 1930s home was insulated with dead chickens. At first, they thought the original owners didn't have access to proper insulation at the time. People were known to insulate their homes with sheep's wool or even balled up newspapers. But after they found spices and other ritualistic objects, experts theorized that it was a form of Dutch folk magic known as powwow, which is meant to ward off sickness. Ironically, it actually made the homeowner sick. Kajia Bretzius told reporters, we were shocked, horrified, and disgusted. But she was even more shocked to learn that excavating the carcasses and properly insulating their home would cost them over $20,000. But that's all for this video, and please leave a like and a comment. It helps me out tremendously in the algorithm. And of course, share this video if you really like my content. And if you'd like to watch more, there's some clickable links on the screen right now that you can tap or click. And if you'd like to follow me on my socials, links are in the description. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time.